Tonight on Frozen Planet, we show you a polar bear in a snowstorm. Are we sure that's what this is footage of? So today's video is actually going to be like semi-informative and I'm going to talk to you about penguins and polar bears. Why penguins and polar bears you ask? Well, you'll just have to watch to the end of the video to find out. Now to start off, I am neither an ornithologist nor an ursinologist. So my primary qualifications for making this video are that I have a camera, some video editing software and an internet connection. Nonetheless, I have done a little bit of research for this video, uh, and you can find my sources cited down in the basement. Okay, so you might not know this, but most polar bears live in the northern hemisphere, while most penguins live in the southern hemisphere. A big difference between the two besides the whole location thing, though, is that there's just the one polar bear species, whereas there are 18 penguin species in the world. Also, not all of those penguin species live in Antarctica. There's even one that lives in Africa, which, according to this handy map, is not Antarctica. Apparently, African penguins are also called jackass penguins because they're really big jerks. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's apparently because they sound like this, and uh, people think that sounds like a donkey. Thank you. I think the African penguin might be slowly becoming one of my favorite animals. But enough about penguins. Polar bears are really cool because they're bears, and therefore fuzzy. Plus, while most bears are omnivores, polar bears tend to be primarily carnivorous and eat seals and stuff because, apparently, there isn't a whole lot of vegetation in the Arctic. I know, who'd have thought? Another interesting thing about polar bears is that because they spend most of their time on sea ice, they're actually classified as marine mammals. Well, since you asked, we care about polar bears and penguins because, aside from the ones like the African penguins, these animals live in the opposite polar regions of the planet, so they're like really far apart. However, thanks to the power of technology, some of these animals are now able to communicate with each other using text messages, which you can read about in my new webcomic series, Polarnoids. It's way less scientifically accurate than I tried to be in this video, but you can still read it because the first issue is up now over on my website, StarryNightEntertainment.com. The, the link is also down in the basement. The idea is that Polarnoids will come out every other week on the weeks that Brandy DeHex is off because that way I get a little more variety in my work, but I also get to have a little more time to work on new issues of Brandy DeHex. No, I was going to make a video anyway, and I just thought it would be fun to have it tie in with my new comic series. Plus, I got to read about a bunch of animals, which makes it so it's definitely a win for me. But anyway, I hope you liked this video, and if you're interested, do feel free to check out Pornoids. I've also posted it on my Instagram, at SlayerWatcher6. Uh, where I post a lot of little art stuff that I do. Uh, so, yeah, check it out. Also, there's now merchandise for Brandy to Hex. So if you go over to starrynight.threadless.com, you'll be able to find 
one design that you can have on t-shirts and sweatshirts and stuff. And now that the shameless self-promotion portion of the video is complete, I just wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want, let me know what your favorite species of penguin is down in the comments. Be seeing you! Also, fun fact, but the Porgs in Star Wars The Last Jedi are not based on penguins. They're actually based on puffins, which were very common on the island where they shot all the Luke stuff. <laughs>